Live from Manhattan, Kansas, it's the 2014 Kansas State High School Football Championship. Today, the Overland Park Grizzlies take on two-time defending state champion Shawnee Mission West, led by Kansas State Player of the Year Ocean McGran. There will be sacks, there will be touchdowns, there will be a lot of guys in tight pants rubbing up against one another. It's all coming to you live on National Interscholastic Programming, Channel 428, The Nip. Gentlemen, we've come a long way. Today is the day. Today's the day that we show everyone that Overland Park is the best damn football team in the entire state of Kansas. Yeah! yeah! Today we show everyone that Overland Park backs down from no man. Yeah! yeah! And today we show everyone... Our dicks. No, Than, God damn it. Nobody's showing nobody their dicks to anybody. Nobody to anybody dicks. All right, I'm just saying. You know, intimidation. No. Today is the day that we show everyone... That we are not some passing fad. That we are not just some silly trend. That we are the new standard for popularity. That what is cool is whatever the fuck we say it is. What's hip are the things that we say are hip. No matter how pretentious, mundane, or let's be honest, not that great those things may be. Because remember, you guys, we are a bunch of up their own ass cunt holes who are about to crawl back up the thrift store bargain bin from whence they came. The moment is here, ladies. The moment we take back everything that was taken from us. It's time these hipsters finally get a taste of our dicks. Yeah! yeah. Uh, uh. Proverbially speaking, of course. Oh, uh, of course, of course. Oh, proverbially speaking, of course, yeah. Tanner, Blaine, with the three of us on offense, I know we can put real points up on that board. Now, then, Deandra, we're going to be counting on you to lead that defense against Ocean McGran. And the rest of you 47 guys, well, I'm sure you're going to have a good, you know, you're going to do fine too. Yeah! Oh, fuck them up! Yeah, fuck them up! Yeah, alright, woohoo! Fuck them! Oh, oh, okay, okay, Kevin, come on now. Keep it together, alright? One thing's for sure. Tonight is gonna be... A night of hot, sweaty people dancing to alternative music and paying exorbitant amounts of money for overpriced water and organic deli sandwiches. A night that this entire state will remember as... The night that Overland Park Cheer Squad took back what was rightfully ours. Fuck the motherfucking hipsters. Fuck Ocean McGrath. And fuck the cheer squad. Because tonight. 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 Is our fucking, fucking night. night. Deandra. Hey, come on. What's wrong? I uh, know. It's just I've, uh, I just, I've got some nervous poops. Right before a big game. You know, nervous poops, they always rear their ugly head. Oh, yeah, I get it. Well, in that case, uh, I'll leave you alone. And... Uh, no, 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 please, please. I perform better with an audience. Uh, okay. So, Tanner, tell me what's going on in your... <laughs> oh, my God, Deandra, are you okay in there? It sounds awful. Oh, yeah, 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 you know, pretty standard stuff. You know, I had a lamb fed and bologna gyro at the Greek truck outside. Ugh. I tell you what, bologna is not a food to be experimented with. Yeah, you know, thinking about it, I never really understood what bologna actually is. Ah, nobody has. It's a great enigma of the meat world. Whatever it is, though. I'm treating my colon like a 1950s housewife who just told her husband that maybe he's had one too many. <coughs> oh, Deandra, hey, listen, I'm all for supporting your fellow teammates and all, but this is really rank. I'm gonna go. Yep, oh, yep, here we go. And I think we're just about rounding lunch and coming into. <coughs> That afternoon run at two plantation. <coughs> and that is right. You always chew croutons. Oh, Deandra, are you almost... Yep, I think we're just about through the worst of it. Good <coughs> morning, Vietnam. Hey, you know, French onion soup looks exactly the same coming out as it does going in. Okay, can we get going, please? Yep, let's do it to it, mister. Wait, Deandra, uh, are you gonna wash your hands? There's or? no time, let's go! 
Really, Cezanne? You couldn't find a sitter for a couple of hours? Oh no, Brittany. Everyone is at the how you say concert. Plus, I thought a little Brittany could spend some time getting to know her godmother. For the last fucking time, I am not going to be the godmother of your fucking goddamn piece of shit! Wait, what did you name her? Brittany? Oh, wait, that is your name too? Brittany, yes. Same name, but different. But same. You think that by injecting your half-Montrealian demon spun into the sacred sorority of Brittany's, that you were going to force me to accept the role of godmother? No, I just thought it was a pretty name. I mean, it, it really is. It's kind of perfect, but... Hey, if there's an open godmother slot, I'd like to throw my hat in the ring. I love all those movies. I mean, I could be there for her first birthday. I wonder when she'll start walking. We should probably start interviewing preschools right away. They're really selective. We gotta start a college fund. Oh, I hope she gets into an Ivy League school. Well, if she doesn't, as the godmother, I'll make them an offer they can't refuse. Oh, but what if they do refuse it? Okay, well, let's see. In that case, I'll get my consigliere to take care of it. Well, I'm gonna need a consigliere first. Hey, Trisha, what kind of consigliere skills do you have? Be honest. I mean, I'm good. I'm not great, though. I've got my shortcomings. Look out for me! You're my kid brother! Uh, wait. Uh, what's going on? I know it was you, Trisha. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. I am so sorry. What did I do? Okay, okay, let's get it together, everybody. This is the business we have chosen! Trisha! Saison! I am sorry, but I'm going to have to withdraw my name from the godmother race. I can't handle the stress. Oh, uh, Brittany, you know what that means. Unless I was a fairy godmother. Dear God, this is my hell. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Than, psst. Oh, hey, Jenna, you coming to watch a football game? What? Than, no, gross. I just wanted to make sure you're ready to execute Operation Lose the Fucking Football Game. Yep, ready to execute the plan. Lose the game, totally screw over the guys, have them completely hate me, then be accepted by you guys, and all the hipsters take over the school. One minor adjustment, though. What if I didn't lose the game, and then none of that other stuff happens either? Dan, don't forget they hate you. They're just pretending to like you. We're the ones who really accepted you. They're liars. Yeah, right, right, right. You know, they must be really good liars, though. All right, one question. I know I'm broding this whole Homeland scenario, but are you the CIA or are you the terrorists? Dan, this isn't Homeland. We are the ones who accepted you when no one else would. We took you in and made you one of us. We are the only ones that truly care about you. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah, you're definitely Abu Nazir. All right, great. Let's do this. And then, just in case you start having second thoughts, remember, everything goes well tonight, and you and I can start becoming much better friends. Oh. All right, now. This is okay, you see, now I'm getting a real Claire Danes vibe from you. You know what? I gotta get my cork board. All right, how's everybody doing out there? You bitches ready for your first bab? All right, but first, a quick announcement. If you are the owner of a Nissan Altima, license plate number J367WX8, uh, you left your windows rolled down and there's a laptop in the front seat. All right, guys, have a good time tonight. Porta potties are over to the left, and don't forget to recycle those water bottles. Oh, we just got one more announcement. The owner of that Nissan? Yeah, you've been rubbed. All right, guys, have fun out there. And now, literally dragons. Hey, guys, what's going on? Oh, just uh, checking out the competition. Ah, which one's Ocean? Really? Hey, Nancy boys, why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. All right. I kind of figured you wouldn't be into that, but, uh, nice. Ah, suck my dick. Oh, yeah? Why don't you come over here, pull down your pants, stick your dick in my mouth, and say it to my face? Okay, Than, come on, buddy. Yeah, Than, come on now, all right? Let's, uh, everybody, let's just go get warmed up. You're all talk! He's all talk! Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome 
to lovely Bill Snyder Family Football Stadium in picturesque Manhattan, Kansas. Clint Tarpley, the voice of the Kansas High School Sports here, and we are just about to get ready for kickoff. And boy, do we have a game for you today. Joining me in the booth is Pro Football Hall of Famer, the legendary Bert Hickey. Bert, great to have you here today. Well, great to be here, Clint. Where am I again? You're at the Kansas State Football Championship, Bert. Oh, okay. And how does it feel? Well, I just spent two weeks in a Venezuelan prison, so you know it feels pretty good to be any place where I don't have to carry around a spoon I've sharpened into a knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bert, it's characters like you why I love working in public access. And speaking of access, let's go down to our sideline reporter, Caitlin Cameron. Caitlin, how are those teams looking? Well, Clint, I couldn't tell you because I actually have been able to get into the stadium yet. There is a music festival that's absolutely raging out here in the parking lot. I tell you literally Every person in Kansas is here. Do you want to make out a little bit? No. Clint, as you can see, it is absolute pandemonium out here. I doubt anyone is actually watching us on TV because tonight, this is the place to be. Well, Caitlin, thank you for that report. Bert, what do you think of that? Well, I think those kids should be safe out there. You know... One night you're having fun, roofing yourself just to see where the night'll take you. Next thing you know, you're spoon knifing your cellmate just for a pair of shower sandals. I'm sorry, Randall. Well, it seems like that parking lot concert is up and raging. In here inside, these two teams are chopping at the bed to get going. It promises to be one epic night. Let's go down to the field for the kickoff. Hey popular people, thank you so much for watching this episode. The season finale has just begun. So do not miss next week's episode and the one after that. It is going to be amazing. What do you want to happen at the end of season three? Let us know in the comments below. How do you think the season finale will officially end? A lot of great things are going to happen. It's a crazy couple episodes, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this one, press the like button right now. Please, please, please. Thank you so much. And don't forget to check out the rest of the series. If you aren't caught up, catch up now. It's not too late because you're going to miss some crazy, crazy plot twists coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next week. Bye.